In this video, we will go through an example of a list page and an announcements page. So we'll begin with a list page. So if we go to the R team page, this is a list page, and a list page is, is an area that allows you to, to keep tracks, track of lists of information, such as, like in this example, it's team members, but you might want to keep a list of current tasks or your current project lists or, or maybe your team goals. So any, any type of list that you'd like to keep track of, you can do that by clicking on the Create Page button and selecting List as your template. So this is an example of a list page that um, has the team members listed in it. So the columns that are in here are defined by you when you set up the list page and you can add to that those columns or remove them by using the customize this list link and you can also add items to the row. So let's say you want to add another row, you want to add a team member you would click on the Add Item button and it's going to bring up a dialog that has you fill in the information for each of the columns in your list. So you might want to say, um, we're going to add Mary Smith and she is a project manager and her work schedule is she works at, in the office and her backup is John Lewis. And we click on Save and that then just adds a row and we, you can continue to do that by clicking on the add button add item button excuse me and as I had mentioned before in a previous video whenever you hover over something in a Google site and it turns yellow that means that it's editable so let's say that um, we want to change some information about Mary Smith she now works out of her home so we want to change that and we click on save and that will update her row Okay. And we do the same if we wanted to remove someone from the list. So let's say Mary Smith is not no longer on our team. So we would click on that row. It would bring up this edit item box and you click on the link that says delete this item. It will then remove her from the list. So that's an example of a list page. Another type of page is an announcements page. And that example um, is in the team news. So we click on Team News. What this does is it brings you to an area, like a discussion area, where people can post new items. So there's a post here um, about a team meeting agenda. But people could come in here and enter maybe a new announcement. Maybe you have team announcements that happen on a regular basis. So um, someone would come in here and click on New Post. And maybe we'll, we'll have an announcement that we have a new website launching September 15th and we could put in so this is where you would type in the information about your post so you can use all this the same formatting bar and all this the same information that you did in a web page so we will say we have a new site please check it out And we could put the site here, so www. We'll just put bradycorp.com, and we're going to make that a link. So we're going to highlight it and click on link. And since it's a, it recognizes it as a URL, it automatically puts it as a link. And we'll click on save, and we'll go back to our team news. And so now, as you can see on our team news page, this is a new post. So. When people come to this team news page, they'll see the new information, and if they wanted to, they could comment on it. So they could click on the link to it, and maybe they have a comment. So they would click on the comments and say, you know, great. And they can add a comment, okay? So an announcements page allows you the ability to be able to give your, your users um, the option of posting information. One nice way of getting this information on a regular basis, let's say people are posting announcements but you don't know until you come to this page, well you could su subscribe to this page. So if we go to more actions and we click on subscribe to page changes, it's going to tell us at the top you will be notified when this page is changed. So anytime a new post is added or changed or anything changes on this page, I'll get an email letting me know of that change. So that's a way to keep up to date with the team news um, or the, any type of, of an announcement rather than having to come back and manually check that.
So we have finally covered the different types of pages in our various videos we've offered. We've shown a web page, a file cabinet page, a list page, and an announcements page. The next video will go through all the different options that you can find in the More Actions menu.